Hello and welcome back to my channel. We've got Tiara today. Long time since we've done Tiara, long time since we've done anything second gen. And actually this is very ap apropos of today because I believe tomorrow Kara has a new release. And I don't know when the last Kara release exactly was. I don't know if it was as long as it was here for Tiara, but that's what we're checking out because Tiara released this in late 2021, was their first since 2017, I believe. They funded all of this themselves, released the album, became their most popular. This is a request from Ava Player. We're going to be checking out the song Tiki Taka as well as All Kill. So both of these must be on that same album. And just looking back, because it has been a while since Tiara, it's like, wow, they have really good ass songs. They have songs that you would think about would fit the mold of like that that really catchy um slightly corny but in the best of ways kind of second gen k-pop like roly-poly um like um oh what's the other one you know what it is it's on the tip of my tongue lovey-dovey that's what it the one with the zombies right lovey-dovey and then they have the other ones that we've checked out the first ones like uh number nine a uh, sugar free that are a bit more modern than that and also really great in their own right so let's check this out subscribe if you guys are new check out my patreon for album reactions live stages and variety shows let's do it tiki taka Ooh. I like how those rose petals overlap the frame. I, I like that effect in general a lot. Classy. They look so great. Mm. I like how kind of dreamy and lost their vocals seem at points. If there were to be like a modern version of the songs I just talked about, it's like you could totally see that maturation. has also been very second gen feeling with all those beauty shots but this wow I wonder what the cover charge on a place like that is oh my god I love her voice this melody here is so pretty Sounds a little sad, right? Mmm. The electronic bass really gets kind of grimy in this. Oh, and this set is so, like... It's so malleable. I feel like when you have a, a really like white set like this with kind of almost like a clear structure above them. I don't know if it's completely like just window. If this is all windowed or if it's I think it might be mirrored. But being able to change this up so much with just like a lighting change and it's like a completely different set. This is so pretty that I'm surprised this is the first time I'm seeing like this kind of location in a K-pop music video. <laughs> Oh, 
seriously, like, what is this club that they're in? The confetti's overlapping. Oh. I can't remember the one that I loved from Sugar Free. I, I, I think she had, like, platinum blonde hair, I think. I don't know which one she is here. She reminds me her face a little bit of Monday. Oh my god, I love the percussion on this. Wait, did it just end like that? I thought it was going to be a delayed... Oh, it did. Human. I think it might have been human that I'm talking about from Sugar Free. How did this end here? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's roll this back. When did the bridge hit? When was the bridge? Another free chorus. Is this only our second chorus here? Mm. That's the killer. That's like what's going to be stuck in your head. Doesn't she got a bullet Monday here? What? Am I losing my mind? This is not an excuse to replay this part. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm not complaining. Unless it happened before, even it couldn't have been. I think we just didn't really have a traditional bridge and final chorus in this song. Pretty sure that one we just heard again was only the second time the chorus played. But I don't really mind that. I like when a song plays with its structure a little bit, and I think that's what they did here. Wow. It also feels so good to just... Maybe it's just the way that the climate is now with K-pop, but just just to have a, a music video with women in it is, is, is really nice. It's really, really nice. I also think there might have been more than four of them. Why do I feel like there's not all of the members here? And that might be the case. You tend to lose a few in, in the groups that last a long time. So cool that they could put something out like this themselves, though, in front of themselves. It even says, like, this is put out via, like, through Dingo Music. That's so interesting. So did they have like a, a collaboration with like, a, a, I don't know how it would have worked basically, but I think it's very, very cool that they did that. Um, let's check out the next one. This is all kill. Uh, this one still also doesn't have captions. That's disappointing. I want to know. It's understanding that they don't because they release these themselves, but I want to know what these songs are about. Oh, we're doing a Western style mm. you can even hear it in the sound the fabled crystal skull oh it's like a live clip I mean, this video is quality, though. Both of these have been for a self-funded effort. Wait, this deserves a choreography. Mm, and it actually 
works really, really well with this kind of like that whistle tone that really uh, poses this as a, a Western style, not Western style song, but thematically. And their harmonies here like work really well with the instrumental. <laughs> Oh, they're strapped. Their eyes are crazy. Her outfit looks so vastly different to me than everyone else's. A little beret thing on. This has a bounciness that's reminding me of like a major's giddy up or something. It's really suddenly upbeat. Like you're riding a damn horse. But then the slowdown. Really cool rotating shot. Extended shot, too. Money well spent. Heard a little bit, bit more synth there. Fatal, fatal. Wow, she really stands out with that outfit, though. And their earrings are crazy. Ah, and the the gunshot cue back to black and white. Wow, that was really good. And that one really, really focusing just just in the way that that video is. Uh, looking more like a live clip, even though it wasn't. It has the feeling of a song that's really focusing more on uh, their vocals. And I'm really impressed. I thought I thought that was fantastic. I'm assuming this also has plenty more songs. I don't know if they released... Oh, it was a single album, so this actually was all that they released. I thought they might have put out maybe a mini or something like that. But let me know if there's anything on the horizon for them. So this was... This was about a year, a little slightly over a year ago from today that this came out. So if there's anything else, I don't know what they're doing at the moment. If some are into like hosting or if anyone went into acting. But if if music is still in their future, uh, I think that they totally should because these are two really, really good songs. Thank you so much, Ava Player, for the request. Please, if you guys are interested in some extra content from me, join my Patreon, live stages, album reactions, variety shows, plenty of different groups, primarily girl groups, but we do, we do male groups as well on there. Um, and yeah, check out my Tiara playlist down below. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you next time.